Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I'm charging in 2023. Eight ways I make money doing concrete work. Hey, for those of you guys who don't mind sharing what you charge, please watch the video and then after the video, comment down below so we can kind of compare prices all over the U.S. and wherever you live. That would be really cool for all the viewers. Thanks a lot. So for you guys that know me, you know I pour a lot of concrete. We pour concrete just about every day, but we do a lot of other things in the concrete business that's related to it that we also make a lot of money at. The first thing we do is we pour a lot of concrete floors like this, just basic basic house floors in a foundation or for a garage. And you know, we get hired usually to as a sub to do these for a lot of foundation contractors or general contractors or builders. And my basic price what I charge to do these is between 4 and 5 bucks a square foot. And that just includes the concrete and the labor. So the four inches of concrete for a floor like this, plus the labor for us to come in and pour, screed it, bull float it, power trowel it, saw cut joints is, you know, four to five bucks a square foot. Usually for my regular contractors that hire me, give me 50 or more jobs a year, you know, they'll be closer to the $4 a square foot range. And then for the people that just give me a few jobs or maybe even just one job a year, they're going to be up towards the $5 a square foot range. And there's, you know, there's some other things. If we have to do some of the prep on these, like if we have to lay a poly vapor barrier or wire mesh or, you know, a, a stego wrap vapor barrier, stuff like that, that's going to be in addition to that cost. So that's just for the four inches thick of concrete plus the labor to come in here and do it with. And, you know, take my prices with a grain of salt. I have a small crew. Uh, we live in Maine. Where you live, prices might be a lot higher so I'm just trying to give you a general idea of like what I charge. Just be open and honest about that for, for you guys that maybe are new or starting out or if you're a homeowner and you're looking for what something might cost. Uh, this should just give you a general idea. But they could be much different depending on where you are in the country. Job like this, 5 bucks a square foot. Come in and do the styrofoam, the poly vapor barrier. That's going to add another 4 bucks a square foot to that. So... You know about nine bucks a square foot to do a floor like this the styrofoam is actually just as expensive two inches of styrofoam just as expensive as the concrete is so you know that stuff's gone way up in price so to and a lot of like in maine it's code to put styrofoam under most all the floors unless it's kind of small or you live in a really small town that doesn't really have much code enforcement so the that can really bump up the prices quite a bit but we'll do you know, we'll do 200 floors a year like that and like this, these garage floors. No code in this town, so basically just a four inch concrete floor. A homeowner didn't really want a vapor barrier. So we come in, just supply the concrete, labor to get it laid down, power trial it, saw it. You know, basically five bucks a square foot for a floor like this. And you can see I'm not I wasn't there that day, so <laughs> that makes it even better when I don't have to be there and get it poured. Um, so concrete floors, we do a ton of them. This is an engineered slab, so what I mean by that is it's got a, a set of plans, a set of blueprints on it. So this would be a second way we make a lot of money, you know, setting up, forming these, pouring them, finishing them. There's a lot of detail in these with the setup. It's got two inches of styrofoam under it, stego wrap, vapor barrier, matter rebar. So those can those can get pretty expensive, you know, 15 to 20 bucks a square foot for something like this for labor and materials. Um, this one was just a, a basic, well, it wasn't basic, but it was a big garage slab. This one is a basic garage slab here. So non-engineered, no set of plans or anything. Homeowner just calls, wants a, a concrete slab addition put on their garage or whatever. Uh, basically 10 to 12 bucks a square foot for something like this. And these prices don't include the gravel prep. You know, we don't do gravel prep. So that would be in addition to all these prices you see for stuff like this. You know, getting someone to come in and, and do the gravel, you know, uh, dig, dig out the loom and, and whatever needs to be dug out and then bring the gravel in, compact it, level it. That's going to be in addition to all these prices. So any type of small jobs I do, 
you know, I, I have a basic minimum price for labor, so it's 2000 bucks uh, just to get me there, form it up, pour it, finish it, and then, you know, whatever the materials cost for something this small, there could be a minimum load charge on the concrete for something like this. You know, basically it requires me to go up there and meet the customer first, give them a price. So it's it's around three trips for something like that. Here we, we do a lot of pool decks like this. So a basic broom finish pool deck, four inches thick, form it, uh, wire mesh it, pour it, broom finish, cut joints in, stuff like that. You know, you're talking 12 to 15 bucks a square foot, and that's without doing the pool coping. You know, sometimes we'll have to come in and form up the pool coping. And, that, you know, we, to use our forms for that, that we get $40 a lineal foot just to put those coping forms on. I got some other videos that will show you that. I can link them up at the end of this one. But um, so basically, just to come in and have a pool deck done like this for the broom finish, it's 12 to 15 bucks a square foot. Quite a bit of work in these. It, it involves, you know, a lot of labor. Really, it involves a lot of skill, too, if you're going to do one that size. We do a ton of stamping. Stamping, you can get big money doing stamping. There's a lot of skill involved with being able to do it right. So our prices start at 20 bucks a square foot for, uh, let's say, four inches of concrete. And to get it stamped, you know, colored and stamped, uh, cleaned and sealed, cutting joints in it. Starts at 20 bucks a square foot. There's an interior one here. Sometimes they'll have exterior pads. They'll have a lot of forming to do. It could be straight forms. It could be curved forms. Stuff like that could add to the price. Here's a basic stamp concrete pad right here for an entryway. This was this was 20 bucks a square foot for this. You know, we came in, form it up, put a mat of rebar in it, pour it, stamp it, clean it, seal it. 20 bucks a square foot. All the gravel work and stuff that was extra above and beyond an excavator does that so we don't even price that part of it here's something else we do quite a bit of is concrete repair so for simple like spalling repair like this and to get it resurfaced you know it's really every job is individual you got to price it individually but if someone's looking for a ballpark price i basically tell them 10 to 15 bucks a square foot and it's really going to depend on the type of repairs you have to do the type of product you're using how much product you have to use um, and stuff like that but a good general price is 10 to 15 bucks a square foot just to give somebody a ballpark and that's still a heck of a lot cheaper than busting this out and redoing it especially if it's paved like this or if they get all kinds of landscaping and stuff like that another thing we don't do a ton of but we do enough of is like just self-leveling overlays to either repair concrete or you know for a subfloor something that's out of level that needs to be leveled off these can vary greatly depending on the prep how thick the overlay is but a general ballpark price is eight to twelve bucks a square foot that includes the cost of the material you know doing all the prep and the labor here to pour it the actual material itself is pretty easy to use it self levels this thing was out over an inch you know, it went from like a quarter inch up on the edges to a little over an inch thick in the middle. So we had to set all kinds of grade pins in there. Used up quite a bit of material, but self-leveling overlays, those like that, you can make some pretty good money doing those. And those, you know, that's eight basic ways. We, we do a few other things, but uh, that's eight basic ways to make money, you know, that all relate to the concrete business. So if you're only doing one or two things and you're thinking of adding something on, you know, like if you don't know how to power trial concrete floors and, uh, you know, you're just doing small stuff and you're doing it by hand, well, you can make a lot more money doing more square feet just by learning how to run a power trial. I can help you all with that stuff, guys, too. If you want to learn all this stuff, you know, just join the Concrete Underground. That's my private membership. That's a, There's a link for that down below. Um, but there's there's all kinds of people out there that teach this stuff. We've been doing it for a long, long time. I've been doing this over 42 years, so... We've, you know, we didn't start out doing all these things at once. It was one thing at a time. Then we picked something else up and then we added on to that and added on to that. And then over the years, you know, we just get so much work now because we do so many things that relate to concrete that there's never an end of work. There's, and then your prices, you know, can be, can be uh, uh, related to that too. So your pricing changes a little bit as, as you get more experience. But anyway, any questions, leave it down in the comments. Thanks guys.